Well, it's Christmas Eve 2018, and I woke up this morning, and the house was cold. This inducer motor has been kind of getting louder and louder over the last few months, and I thought I would uh, try and see if it would last through another season. But uh, this morning, it uh, when I got up, it was just making a humming noise, and it's not it's not functional anymore. So went shopping for a new one. I was able to find them online for $175, but being that it's uh, Christmas and New Year's week, um, I knew it would take about a week and a half to get here and kind of like to get it fixed sooner than that and uh, not have to run space heaters for a week. So anyway, I called the local uh, place and they were able to get one for me. It's 300 bucks. paid a little more, but I was able to go pick it up this morning. They wanted 650 bucks as a quote for them to do the work and replace it, but uh, done enough research on this. I've replaced a couple other things on this furnace in the past and I'm pretty confident I can get this done no problem. Save myself 300 bucks. So, alright, here we go. This is on a Hale DC90 90% efficiency furnace. This is from uh, 1996. It's a 22 year old furnace. Original for the house. I know this furnace is probably on its way out sometime in the next five years or so, but um, we'll see. Before getting started, I have already uh, turned off the furnace at the thermostat. Also turned off the furnace at the switch box. And also, I've just turned off the gas valve. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect this vacuum hose here. And then we're going to do the wiring. On this particular one, it looks like the power wires for this are bundled with the main power wires that go down here so I'm gonna have to they did include some uh, extra wiring adapters as you can see on the new one this this is the the ends that I that are on the new one so I'm gonna have to do some adapting here So, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to do some, make some changes to this wiring to fit the new one. So this is the new one. It's got th these type of connectors. And it came with these two extra pieces, which is what I'm going to have to use for my setup. So, all you need to do is uh, plug black to black. So then what I'll have to do for my furnace wiring is I'm going to have to uh, pull these two out, or excuse me, I guess these two, pull these two out, shove that in this connector here and we should be good to go. Well according to the instructions it says you're supposed to have a pin pusher tool to be able to remove these. Uh, wires from this <clears throat> from this bracket. And the idea is you, you push this tool inside here, and uh, <clears throat> if you can see on the wire that I've already moved, it's got these little uh, tabs that kind of stick out, little barbs. You're supposed to push a tool in there, and it pushes those barbs down. It allows you to pull this wire out. I've already done this one, and how I was able to do it. I don't have that tool, but how I was able to do it was to just use this uh, little forceps that I have and uh, put that in the hole and find the barbs and just push push it in firmly and go ahead and no I didn't get it I can't see the barbs in there so I'm gonna push it in just gotta kind of keep trying different spots until you get those barbs bent down. <laughs> the first one was a lot easier.
There we go. Kind of a pain, but if you had that tool, I'm sure it would have just taken five seconds. But anyway, got it done. Wiring's detached, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the pull the unit itself. Got this ground screw here. Oh, the ground screw. The ground wire is hooked to one of the mounting screws. That's interesting. Okay. So we've already got one of the mounting bowl out. There's three more. One here, one here, and then one back here. Alright, and the only thing left holding it in is this pipe. This is the exhaust pipe. I'm just going to lift that up. And there we go. Here's the dead conducive fan. So here's the, uh, the old one on the left, the new one on the right. They look almost identical. Main difference I'm seeing is that this end here where it hooks to the pipe. Looks like this is a, a male end and that's a female end. Um, they did include a, a piece of rubber piping. I think it's supposed to go on here so that'll that'll work just fine I think for what I've got here. Because that's what I've got. Let's go ahead and uh, start mounting this new one in place. This new um, blower motor did come with a couple of foam washers, and uh, I believe those go those go here and here. This one also had foam washers, but they were practically gone. They just crumbled. Here's what's left. Had them here and here. Here's what's left of them. One, it just was all dry and crumbly and just fell off when I took it off. But so we got two foam washers. It also came with an o-ring. I don't want to check with the instructions for sure, but it goes right in this right in this little gap right here. So according to the instructions, there's also a uh, airflow restrictor that you're supposed to use off of the old unit. That's this piece here. It's supposed to be held in place with three plastic pins. Um, these pins are gone. And this one, I, I, if I pull this out, I can see inside there, I don't know if you can, but there's a piece right there of a pin laying in there. But anyway, take this restrictor off the old one, put it on the new one. The new one came with these little plastic pins, which are going to go do it with one hand when you put the camera down I'll be back. Alright, so those three plastic pins are a pain in the butt to get in. They're, they're plastic. It seems like they could break pretty easily, but it takes seems to take a lot of force to get them to pop into there. And I'm 
almost broke one of them, so be careful when doing that. It does take quite a bit of force to push those three pins. Alright, so I'm getting ready to put the new unit in. And I just want to check out the pipe attachment here to see how it's going to fit. The, um, the new one did come with this piece of rubber tubing and two, two uh, hose clamps. And uh, well, let's just see how it fits and see if I, I'm going to need to use that or not. Okay, so definitely I'm going to need to use that too because these are two pipes here are the same size. They're not gonna one's not gonna go inside the other. So and it looks like I'm gonna need to shorten this by about an inch or so because uh, it's just too tight. So I'm gonna shorten this by about an inch. I'm gonna put these two together use this um, rubber tubing with the hose clamps to make the union. Alright, so we got the pipe trimmed. Took about an inch off of there. Let's go ahead and put that new motor in here and see how it fits. I'm gonna line up the holes here. pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and slip this rubber tube over there and put the hose clamps on. Now we're cooking. I'm gonna put up a couple of bolt, couple of these bolts in here. It's interesting that they didn't include new screws. You're gonna use the old ones, which is fine with me. I just got, for some reason thought they would include some new screws. Three hundred bucks for this fan. But. One in the back, hard to see. Tighten up this last hose clamp here. Should be as simple as just pushing these two ends into this bracket where the old ones were. Probably getting some kind of a wire. 
something to keep these off. I know this thing gets hot. I kind of want to keep these up out of the way. I might just tie them up like that, I think, with a wire tie. I'm get the wiring hooked up. One tip that I recommend that I'm, is uh, before you take any of this apart, take a picture of it, especially the wiring, just so you know uh, exactly the way it's, you put it back the, the way it uh, was. Because um, I actually had to go back and look at my video real quick just to double check, make sure I didn't actually get these wires twist, these brackets twisted around and hooked up backwards. So, got our wiring hooked up. I'm going to hook this vacuum tube back up here. And we should be done. Put a little wire tie here eventually just to keep those from flopping around. But um, I'm going to go turn the power back on, turn the gas back on, and uh, fire it up. cow is it way quieter than the old one running good I wish I had some video of what the old one sounded like uh, you could hear it running in the whole house but this is amazingly quieter fired right up running like a champ so there you go took about an hour and a half Probably would have done been done faster if I hadn't been fooling around with the camera. Thanks for watching. Hopefully somebody out there might find this helpful. Have a good day.